Welcome to Grover Load. I'm Anthony, and uh, you know, let's talk about Asus finally taking over Intel's Nook business. So, it looks like it's finally official. It looks like, um, from what I've read, some places September 1st was a f official transition date, and now it is with Asus. So, hopefully, Asus can continue kind of the Nook lineup of what they've been capable and able to do over there. We will see as time will tell uh, how how this will continue on, but you know I'm a I'm a big fan of these small form factor computers. Now I haven't got one recently, but I, I've used them in the past. Not not a Nook, a uh, different brand, but I you know the small form factor, you know four inches by four inches, something like that. I think is a really kind of cool design, and be able to pack in a lot of power is opens up you know capabilities of putting them in places even you know monitor mounting them all this other stuff so that you have a really compact design and you you have a quite a bit of power in some of these that you can actually get some work done and not just you know have it as a nice you know toy and here we go um i guess asus is kind of being kind of cute here with nook rhymes with luck we will uh let that go uh, <laughs> But they want to, you know, deliver, deliver incredible performance and rich I.O., high performance and graphics, sleek design for everyone and every solution, including gaming and business. And I think that's where a lot of these things can merge together is business applications. Um, we'll take a look at uh, ASRock as well. There was a press release in uh, video cards while I was looking at some stuff. I want to talk about this. I'm like, small form factor might not be a bad idea anyways to take a look at but uh you know there's a whole bunch of opportunities here you know and then they have edge computing business gaming you know all that they want all of it right they want to have a supply kind of what uh intel already did do you know they had their you know canyon ones or custom design ones the water cooling all that stuff we'll see if asus does that right um that's some of the cool things that intel did do with these little pcs and I don't know if ASUS is going to see as it's worthy with how much money. But ASUS has done a lot of stuff with their phones and doing unique projects that I could see them maybe just sticking it out. And I like, you know, having, you know, maybe a product that's not going to be a huge seller. But you put it out there because it shows that you got some innovation in you. Um, what is Nook? It's more than a 4x4 P mini PC. It's a wide portfolio of devices and elements that give you the ability to create exactly the system that you want. So they got some form factors here. They got some items that you can look at. And, uh, you know, they have a few things you can learn about here. But And then contact ASUS. So I just wanted to go over that here for a uh, quick second because I think that there is a... Um, if this is something you're looking at, right, if you were to looking at a Nook or having a little device, you know, let's say you need another device someplace, you didn't want a full tower, you didn't want a laptop, this is another great option for you. And they're pretty accessible, you know, to be able to, because you usually buy them without storage, you add in the storage, you can take them apart pretty easily. And you can add in what you want. Hopefully that they come with a lot of um, different items. HDMI 2.0 and they start HDMI 2.1 DisplayPort 2.1 as it comes out and is more readily available. They you know do a lot of this because as we take a look at the ASRock um, 4x4 boards that are coming here and this is from video cards. I will post this link in the description. This is a press release. This is with the AMD Ryzen 7040 and I do like that a lot of these other 4x4s are coming out with you know. I think there's even an ARM one someplace I, I saw a while back. But you have the different CPUs here. And Asus is not going to call Nook in, or uh, uh, AMD processor one a Nook. That's just not going to happen. I'm, I'm guessing there is a contract there with Intel saying you can only use it Nook for Intel stuff. But um, here it is. You get Zen 4 cores, 16 threads in this uh, in these little mini PCs. The one downside is this is HDMI 2.0. Oh, I think and uh, let's see what we got here and display port uh, USB display port uh, on there it's not you know the latest and greatest but it is a very interesting little 4x4 box it's got 
uh, dual LAN ports, 2.5 and a gigahertz. It's got Wi-Fi 6E according to this here, and uh, you got DDR 5600 support on there as well. So the specs of it are, you can add uh, up to 64 gigs <laughs> in this little PC. Pretty crazy. You have uh, two USB 4s, a USB 3.2. Two USB 2.0s, uh, M.2 and uh, M.2 E key Wi-Fi 6 module and SATA ports all on this board, which is pretty incredible. They're able to fit all that on. You have uh, two NICs, a gig and a 2.5 gig, and then you have uh, HDMI 1.4B. Oh, I was wrong. That's what I was. Yeah, this should be HDMI 2.0 or 2.1. This is kind of disappointing there. That's where I read this. Um, and that's the I/O here, but you do get four, but you do get the USB four, which is one of the nice things about these boxes is you know coming out with some of the newer tech, at least in some aspects, should be all of them. <laughs> Why you? I mean, you had, you did USB four, right? But you didn't do HDMI two. I, that two point one. That doesn't make any sense, but. Um, yeah, the, these display ports is over the sea, so that's where you get the display port from. But these are, you know, like I said, the boxes like this, I think, are a great option for people. Let's say you got some uh, small space areas that you want to put this in, edge computing businesses, you, you know, and the form factor works quite well, I think, in a lot of different areas. I thought about picking another one of these up, either a uh, small form factor like this um, just to do some you know more computing you know maybe install Linux on it you, you got the Raspberry Pi out there too but if you want a little bit more horsepower you can get one of these throw it you know next to my you know media center PC and it can run you know just little stuff I want to run on a home assistant etc that aren't needed to you know be in the big tower because I don't need a whole bunch of storage on it right and maybe I move that storage to to a NAS right and then you have this as your main box I've seen somebody some people do that for Plex so there's a lot of different options here for what these boxes are capable of and I think that this is if you're looking for something just you know an added PC you know if you're if you're going okay I want a game I got some space at my desk go build your desktop right you can buy it too but have some fun and build it right if you, but if you're in a small area get one of these you know for it I don't know I'd have to see where the gaming is going to go, especially on the ASUS side of things, because maybe they do something like they did last time, uh, or Intel did, and try to, you know, knock it out of the park, but I'm not going to hold my breath on it, because these are limited, whereas if you have a desktop, you, you're not really limited on that space and configurations, right? <laughs> They're not fitting a 4090 in here quite yet until a few generations down the line when that 4090 performance shrinks down a lot, so... <laughs> Uh, can you imagine a 4090 in one of those boxes? Uh, the heat generation would be incredible right now. But uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. What would be your ideal 4x4 mini computer? Um, what specs would you want in it? Leave that in the comments below. And I do appreciate you supporting and helping out Grand Reload. It is uh, just amazing what you guys are able to do. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel as well. It really does help it out. Until next time, God bless.